Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on how to get number of tables in a database using for each loop container in SSIS. How for each loop container works in SSIS. At the time of loading the multiple CSV files or Excel or text files, we use a for each loop container. It will loop through all the files from a particular folder after creating the variable into the database. So in this case, in this scenario, we used to know how to get number of tables or names of the tables in a database using for each loop container. So if you want to know the number of tables in a database, there is one built-in table is there that is information information scores schema dot then you provide the object name so if you click this one uh, i already selected my database is adventure works 2019 if you click this there are last column table type is there in table type base table views all these th things are available so if you want to know how, how many tables are there in adventure works 2019 you, you used to apply the where condition here to where table type is equal to base table so if you run this one you will get whatever the tables are there this is the table name schema and catalog and table type if you click the databases and adventure works 2019 and tables there are 73 tables are there so they, these are the 73 tables in adventure works 2019 so by this way you, you can get the tables in a particular database now i i used to get the same number of tables and the same same tables again by in by using the for each loop container in SSIS. So how can I do that? I will show now. Creating the new package. I am dragging the for each loop container into the data plane. Control for pane. Double click to configure. At the time of the loading of the multiple CSV files or Excel files, we used to take the for each file enumerator. But in this case, we will pick the for each SMO enumerator. This is also one of the enumerator. SMO in the sense SQL Server Management Objects. Objects in the sense tables, views, store procedures, everything it will come. So uh, we need to select the, this one to, to get the desired output. So afterward, you have to get the new connection. So my server name is admin. So I, I test connection. So it is succeed. Now okay. Then I am I used to go to browse. So in the browser option, if you expand the admin table <coughs> databases. So these are the databases exist in our in my SQL Server Management Studio. Now we want to find the tables in this database at which it was So there are tables here if you find there are tables you select that one. I want to get the names names of the tables. You select the enumeration type as names and afterwards you have to select this create one variable name. I am creating here, here the variable name is table underscore name which is string data type and it will automatically map okay for each loop um, configuration is done I am dragging the execute SQL task into this table before that I will show one table here that is SMO 
enumerator SMO enumerator in this table we already, uh, we already created this table just the table one column is there in this table that is the table name I'm writing the executive uh, executive SQL task the query and uh, run the package all 73 files that are showed um, earlier in, in this uh, adventure of 2019 were, you know, were dumped into this table for this case I am using the SMO enumerator from for each loop container now in this case in SQL type uh, for uh, for executive SQL task, I am cutting the new connection admin adventure works. So, direct output, and here I am writing the query insert into table name table underscore name. values question mark this is the query so um, it will iterate the the values from the given variable table name so, mapping here add the parameter mapping here you need to select the created user variable table name and the data type for this table name is varchar And parameter here I'm mapping here is zero and click OK. So configuration is done. I'm about to run the package. <coughs> Check your turn SMO enumerator table. 73 tables have seen. So, in the same case, earlier in information schema, also, when you sell the table type as base table, it is also 73 tables. So, by this way, you can get the <coughs> number of tables from by using the a uh, SMO enumerator. I am repeating again. If you select the for each loop container and at the time of the configuration, you just select the for each SMO enumerator. This is the enumerator where it iterates the objects of the SQL, your SQL server database. After selecting the SMO enumerator, the, the purpose of SMO enumerator is the Getting the names of the files, names of the uh, tables, views of uh, procedures of the SQL server. So, after you have to go and get the connection manager, your connection manager, and browse the um, browse your data type. If you, if you want tables or views, whatever, whichever you want, you want to select and select the enumer enumeration type as well, and click OK. Then afterwards, you have to uh, create one new variable and mapping with the index afterwards you have to uh, drag the your SQL task and insert your query after, after creating the table after inserting the, your query uh, it will uh, iterate uh, through the variable into the all values into, into, into your uh, newly created table like this so this is how the the smo enumerator is used for in for each loop container um, there is slight difference in in for each loop, for each file enumerator and for each uh, smo enumerator for each file enumerator is to iterate the number of files into the database tables but in the in smo enumerator it will iterate the number of table names and views in the database. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.